Welcome to another podcast of the current situation at Manchester United. Manchester United will be hosted by Bournemouth come, is it tomorrow or on Sunday in the Premier League? So this will be the preview for that game. Um, Eric Tenaga has been doing a bit of talking lately. Um, he was basically talking about, you know, if he's positive with the future of Manchester United, given the new regime in terms of the football operation with Radcliffe and his right-hand man, Brailsford. So he was asked about that. And he was saying, oh, you know, uh, you know, be positive for the future. And I had talks to them and, yeah, we're looking towards the future. And, yeah, yeah you know, I I don't need, you know, the uh, the positive, the, the, you know, eh, the positive, the, the, the light behind the clouds, eh? The positivity, I'm already positive, I'm always positive, eh? So, yeah, he's been doing a bit of yip-yapping lately. Um, Yeah, he's been doing... But actually, in terms of the game, we have a couple of players that are going to miss out, including... Varane is out with injury. Johnny Evans is out with injury. Our centre box, Lissandra Martin has been out with injury. So let's not even get into that. So our main centre box are out with injury, which is going to be a problem. Um, who else is out with injury? Mark Tomlin is out with injury. Um, Rashford, he to- he said in his press conference that Rashford will has been training yesterday and he'll be training today, which at the time of the press conference he was. Or, or actually after that, but yeah, I believe he'll gonna be he's gonna get some game time come against Bournemouth. So we have Harmaguire left in our defense, which may cause a problem because yeah, our defense is looking slimy. But either way, we're playing against Bournemouth, not Bayern Munich in 2011. So um, I'm not expecting us to come into this game with our tails between our legs and co- and, and and you know sing kumbaya and and i forgot to help us out no this is bournemouth and and actually actually bournemouth um they beat us three nil at home so let us not at the same time we shouldn't go at them with a high degree of caution but at the same time you know they they, they can still hold their own they can still defend out is me i haven't well I've, i don't watch bournemouth game but i would like to believe that they're very pragmatic at home yeah, they're very defensive at home in comp- you know when playing against the, the top sides. So our game against Bournemouth, um, I'm expecting us to get a win. Um, he was asked about dropping points in after being in winning positions and dropping points. Um, yeah, 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 bro. That that is an aspect of our game that we need to improve, man. I've said this. I've said this since last year, when we when we drop points against Copenhagen. And Galatasaray said that we need to see our games, man. And that's due to the inexperience that the squad has. And that was on the Champions League group stage. That would have players in our squad that have Champions League experience to go see our games. Who in our squad have that Champions League experience apart from Casemiro, who was, I don't even think he was even playing in those games, and Varane, who was out with injury. Apart from them two, which other players in our squad have Champions League um, experience in our squad. No other player than Kasim and Varane. So, that's what we lack, man. That's what we lack. And this goes uh, this goes, uh, this goes, goes to my match reaction against, I believe, Liverpool or Chelsea. I, I'm, if Kasim is starting, let him play out the 90 minutes, unless he has an injury. Because, see, that's, that's the domino for effect right there. So, if you go take off an, ex, an experienced guy that has been in the know, Seen out games, man, on big stages, big, big, big Champions League stage, uh, big Champions League stages. Seen out games, having that experience. Any those players on the field, even if they're not having their best game, keep them on the field. You see me? We we can't we can't be having no man, cause it's gonna cost us points, and it has already cost us a lot of points. You see me? So we can't afford that. Against Bournemouth, man, the price is too heavy to be affording that. We can't allow us ourselves to be in winning positions and then a couple of minutes later, them go equalize and then they, they take the lead. We can't allow that. We can't allow that. So in this game, starting level, on our nine goal, um, right back, right back, who has have been beating this point in like, like my last couple of previews that one be sucker. Should be starting at right back. Rambisaka should be starting at right back. No way this bridge should be at left back. 
He doesn't have the the the, the, the utensils, man. The, the the foot trickery of an overlapping fullback to be playing at left back, man. He's not even doing those things at right back, and that's his trademark right there, so. So expect him to like become this 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 fluent left back, and he's no left back. He's not even doing those things at right back, and he plays right back. So play him at right back. Dalo is more flexible. He's more integrated. He can play either e either sides. Although he's not defensively as strong. Although he's been improving this season. But in terms of one and one, Wamisaka is a better choice. Keep him at right back, Wamisaka. Left back is Dalo. Centre back pairing. I'm expecting how am I going to start along with um. Hmm, um, that black guy, I believe that black guy will be starting, I can't remember his name, Kimbo Guala. Don't don't get me to say his name wrong, I don't want to say his name wrong, but that guy, that French young guy, I ex I'm expecting him uh, to start with Harry Maguire in the centre back pairing. Um, hmm, who else? In midfield, Kobe Miner will be starting, that's a given, with Casemiro. Bruno Fernandes will be starting. This is where things get tricky now. I'm not expecting Rashford to be starting. I'm expecting Garnacho to be on the... Hmm, hold on. I might take back my, my statement just now. Rashford may start. Rashford may start. Hoyland will be starting up top. That's a given. Um, I'm 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 kind of tossing between because I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if Antonio will be starting over Garnacho on the right-hand side or Garnacho and Rashford will be fighting for the left-hand side. That's what I'm starting right now. But I'm expecting... I'm expecting Ganacho to start on the right-hand side. Yeah, I'm expecting Ganacho to start on the right-hand side, which is the right choice because he's, he's been playing his best games on the right, off the right. Left, uh, left wing is Rashford. You see, so I, I reach out my statement. I, I'm expecting Marcos Rashford to start at left at left wing. Now, if if I get it wrong, then I get it wrong. But I'm expecting him. I would like to think that he's going to be starting against Bournemouth. And of course, as strikers, Hoyland, leave your predicted starting and ups in the comment section below. Like and subscribe to the channel if you have been watching up until this point. My score prediction: I'm expecting us to win against Bournemouth away from home. I'm expecting a hmm, I'm expecting a clean sheet. I know that uh, Salanke has been in the goals this season. He's been a revelation ever since he left Liverpool. I'm expecting um I want a clean sheet, you know. It's been a while we got a clean sheet. Um I ex I'm expecting Manchester United to beat Bournemouth by hmm. I'm going to say three one in Manchester United's favour, no clean sheet. I make yeah, yeah. I'm expecting uh, Manchester United to beat Bournemouth three one come on the day. Leave your score scoring predictions in the start in the in the starting level. <laughs> Leave your scoring predictions in the comment section below. And I'll show it to you guys in the match reaction come either tomorrow or on Sunday. Either way, stick so on so for that one. I'm out.